And my next guest, actress Dame Vanessa Redgrave, is hosting a very special concert and joins me now. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Lorraine. Oh, it's lovely I'm to see you. I'm thrilled to be here. Voices of Remembrance. This is going to be incredibly special, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I brought this, which you can look at. You don't have oh, to show fantastic. it, of course. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, no. But I just was given it today. Um, it's a very nice flyer and you can see everything. It's a Thank charity you. concert. It's wonderful. Help it's for it's, heroes. Yeah, it's support and help for heroes, at which St. of course James's is... St James's Church in Piccadilly on Sunday. And you really wanted to be part of this, didn't you? It's got, you know, well, it's... I've been part of it for quite a few you years. You have, you have. But yes. I think somehow this year there's something very poignant about it. We were talking about the fact that, you know, obviously the Queen is not going to be there, but we will remember her too. Yes, but and we've got King Charles, which Indeed. is wonderful. I know that's fantastic that he's going yes. to be there, and it's just it's and it's just for a, a wonderful, wonderful cause. And it's a time, even for those of us who don't have people who served, it's a time for us to remember. And I know that you had a lot of relatives who, who served in the war. Well, it's a good thing we remember because no government does. No, no government thinks of help for heroes, which we're giving what we can, our little bit, and um, wish it were more. But remembering all the people who've given their lives trying to defend something important, mm. trying to. So we've got the present war going on, and there's not just one war, which is a horrifying war, Russia, Ukraine, but it's also wars all over the planet. And it's, I've got in my past, and I think of them, Often, my grandfather, who rode his horse in General Allenby's cavalry yeah. regiments to liberate Jerusalem from the Turkish Empire. Gosh. That goes back to yes. 1918. And he swam in the ocean. Once upon a time, it was the ocean of Syria. But then it became the... Now, these days, it's the ocean of Lebanon. And then his youngest son, my uncle Robin, and he died in the Pacific War when the Japanese bombed his ship and uh, all of this. And he was a hero like a lot of wonderful young men were. He was 24 and um, he made sure that everybody had got a bit of wood to hang on to in the water. And he'd got a dislocated shoulder because he'd been driving arms behind the enemy lines to the partisans, the British partisans. And uh, he dislocated his shoulder, so he hadn't got much of a chance in striking out for, for the shore and died. But everybody has these stories. And if you went into the care homes, Lorraine, oh, it's incredible, you'd it? find people of my, well, I'm 85, and I, I'm lucky I can still walk, but um, the people who can't, but they too had grandfathers and uncles, yeah. great uncles. Um, and wonderful stories to tell, and that's the thing. And we've got wonderful music. Yeah. Oh, the Excuse music me, is beautiful. No, 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 the music is beautiful. I mean, it's one of those ones. You've it heard just, it, so oh, true. it's absolutely Ooh. fantastic. Can we have a little quick blast? Yes. Yes, here we are. Look, how wonderful is that? It's just uplifting as well as terribly emotional, too. Mm. It'll be an emotion. It'll be, I mean, I know you're amazing at what you do, but something like this is. Um, I think it might be quite hard to sort of keep it together. It'll be, it'll be emotional for everyone. Well, maybe, yes. I suppose so. There's some wonderful poetry for certain. The great war poets yes, as we know them, and Wilfred Owen. Mm -hmm. There's the wonderful thing, anthem for doomed youth. Oh, that's because incredible. Because all of them were doomed that is a, when that they is... went to war. One of, the mo one of the best things that you can do, anti-war you. sentiments, you know. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But then the, the choir, we've got a wonderful choir and a wonderful conductor, Peter Robertson, and uh, parts of the Ealing Symphony Orchestra. Beautiful. So I think we'll be doing something that is um, good for people to treasure. Yeah. It is, that's, it's, that's exactly, exactly what it's like. And of course, you got your, your damehood from Prince William. How was that? How was that day? 
Oh, it was a lovely day. Was it? It looked, it looked terrific. You looked so well and so happy. And what, what a lovely well, honour. happy. What a great honour to have. And you can share it with your family, which is, which is delightful. I mean, these, these are Are you looking at precious. a picture? Yes. Let's have a look. There oh, we are. Oh, yes. Can you see? There we all are. Be useful. There's Steve, who was accompanying me so I could rest on his arm. Yes, we all need I a strong man. to carry out yes, mm -hmm. to, my to, crutch. Absolutely. And we'll hear you at Christmas, the voice of Call the Midwife, of course. That's yes, been a lovely are. thing. Yes. Hasn't that been a great thing to be part of? Yes, it's just... well, a great thing because some wonderful producers. Oh, yeah. Of course, what you see on screen, you see some lovely acting and so on, but... The producers are very good. I yeah. love working with them. Oh, it's a great, a wonderful show. Again, totally uplifting, as this will be Voices of Remembrance. The concert takes place this Sunday at St James's Church, Piccadilly in London. And, of course, a two-minute silence across the country at 11 o'clock this morning. It's the very least we can do. And thank you so much for coming in, but also for, for raising awareness and help for Help for Heroes. It's, a, it's an incredible charity. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Great to see you.